Okay, guys, so we just forwarded, excuse me, forwarded the domain to HostGator. And what we're going to do now, the second part of that is what we got to do is we got to go down. And when you're in your cPanel with HostGator, we're going to just scroll down. And we're going to find something called under domains. We're going to find something called add on domains. Left click that. Now you're going to put your new domain name in here. Okay, so I just bought idwithjames.com. And the only thing you need to fill in is just add domain. Uh, excuse me, I've got to do a password here. I keep my passwords all the same on all these just to uh, save myself the confusion. Um, which is, it just says OK there. Um, I'll probably change this later to something stronger, but just for the purposes, purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to leave it like that. Now we're just going to add domain. So again, we've just typed in what our domain name is. All this is filled in for you. Just make a password for it, and we hit Add Domain. Let this load up. And basically what it's doing is it's regist registering the domain name within your HostGator account. Okay, we forwarded it. Now we're just kind of basically um, adding the domain in with the rest of your uh, domains you already have set up with HostGator. Okay, so it says here the add-on domain has been created. Um, the FTP account, this is file transfer protocol. Do not ever worry about that. Do not, do not let that scare you. You'll never see that doing what we're doing, okay? So we get go back. Okay, so I'm going to go back to home. I'm going to left click home up here. Now we, sh we should see it showing up. So I'm going to go down. I'm going to scroll down to, uh, let's see, right here. Okay, now we see it show up idwithjames.com. So it is showing up here. And for the next part, all right, everything's good. We forwarded the domain. The domain is now showing in our list of domains in our HostGator control panel. So the next step we're going to do after this is I'm going to show you something really cool is how to install WordPress for this domain and we're going to start making our site okay we've got the boring stuff out of the way now we're going to start making the site okay so next part so go ahead and get excited we're going to install wordpress which wordpress is absolutely wonderful for search engines right now i'm going to show you how to install that and then we're going to make a really killer site like the one i got for infinity downline okay see you soon